Hey, this is John Five from Rob Zombie, and you're watching the Krang Download Podcast. Krang. So, John Five of uh, Rob Zombie, how are you today? I'm well. I'm uh, I'm here, and it's uh, raining and it's cold, but I'm very happy to be here. Excellent. Uh, you've you've been to Donington uh, many times before. Um, what is it about the festival that you know makes people come back year after year? Well, I think it's uh, one of the greatest festivals in the world. So it's uh, it's a true honor to be here and to be a part of it. But um, you know, growing up, of course, in America, it's it's as famous as it you know is here is over there. You know, it's great. It's huge, and it's. Um, you know, I watched it when I was a kid and heard about it when I was a kid. And now being here, it's it's just uh, wonderful to be a part of it. Excellent. So, I mean, what are the best and worst things about playing at the festival show? Well, you know, I love playing um, outdoors because you don't get a real bounce back. It always sounds really good, and uh, you don't get this like slap back. So it sounds really good when you're playing outdoors. And I'd love to see the other bands too. It's like you know, a heavy metal summer camp because you get to go and see all the all these other bands. You know, it's like seeing 50 bands in uh, in one day. It's I mean, it's amazing. But um, you know, I don't I don't see any downside unless it's raining or something like that. But yeah. I think that's the only real downside yeah. about it. But I really enjoyed a lot. Yeah, the weather today is atrocious. Um, I can't believe it. Well, I can't believe it, but, you know, it's all right. We'll get through it. Yeah. Um, so what considerations do, you know, does the, uh, the set design have to take into account when you're playing a festival? Because obviously Rob Zombie's, you know, the, the stage show is such a, a great thing to watch, but a festival, you can't really have time to do that. Well, it's, it's funny because our stage show is going to be massive, right? I, I bet massive, like oh, yeah. beyond crazy. So we're just bringing it all out for download, and it's going to be one of the biggest shows we've ever done, like with production and all that stuff. It's going to be, you know, I'm going to want to watch a lot of stuff because it's going to be one of our biggest shows. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, how do you all unwind after a show like this? Because obviously the adrenaline's going and stuff. Do you sit around and just watch movies together? Or? Well, we have a um, three-hour van ride back to uh, London. So yeah. we're going to have plenty of time to unwind. Yeah. You know, so it's, uh, you know, we'll just all sit around and talk about the show after. And hopefully it's going to be a great one. I think yeah. it will be. Yeah. Does it make making you all watch horror films? You know, it, that's a good question because I love horror films. Yeah. I mean, I love, love, love them. But I like, what I like the most is the uh, the early ones, like the five classic monsters, Frankenstein, Dracula, Mummy, Wolfman, Creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, Invisible Man. Um, but I really like those and it's comforting because I watched them as a kid. And, you know, Rob is such a connoisseur as well, you know, but I really enjoy watching them. They're, it's really comforting to them. So it's uh, a great fit, yeah. you know, because he knows so much about them. And I love a lot of them. I watched uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon on the way over here, you know, and the ride. So it's, uh, it's great. Excellent. So do you have any more plans to record uh, solo material? Actually, I do. I have... Um, I have a I have a um, album called God Told Me To, and it's half heavy, and it's half acoustic, which I've never done before. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing a cover of uh, Michael Jackson's "Beat It," oh, right. an instrumental version of it, and uh, it's going to be amazing. I'm really excited about this record because of the acoustic stuff, you know. So because I've never done that yeah. before, and uh, it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited for this to come out. I think I'm going to put a DVD out with it. Right. You know? People always like to see, you know, how I do things and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to do that as well. So it's been very busy. It's been very busy. Yeah. I mean, when do you think you might have this, you know, out in the shop? Um, I'm going to say like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to like release some singles. I'll put out Beat It. And I'll put out something else. But I think I'm going to do it like um, probably around like Halloween time. Right? Yeah. So very soon. Good time to do it. Yeah. yeah. So Rob Zombie's uh, UK tour was a massive success. Do you think that will kind of uh, encourage the band to come over sooner oh, yeah. rather than later? Oh yeah, we're going to be over here now all the time because it's great. We love it. You know. 
It's awesome. I mean, we love it here. So yeah, absolutely. We're gonna we're gonna truck over every probably every time we make a record. Yeah. You know? So we'll definitely be here all the time. You guys will be sick of us. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, is it distracting now? Um, because you've got so much going on during the stage show. Um, is it like um, is it distracting having like uh, you know monsters walking across the stage and pyro going off every five minutes? I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's like. You know, it's it's a dream come true. It's like being a part of this massive production. You know, it's um, it's really cool. Sometimes you gotta remember though. Oh wait, don't stand too close to that fire because it's gonna go off. You know? Yeah. So, but it's so cool, man. I love it. I love it because I loved Kiss growing up and watch all these you know explosions and all this production and all that stuff and it's it's awesome you know to have it yeah in uh, Rob Zombie it's amazing yeah and how does it uh, feel to have Ginger back you know uh, drumming uh, with you it's great Ginger you know when I was in Manson Ginger was always so solid like he never messed up he was always there and uh, I always remember that you know I keep my eye on you know people I love and great musicians because you never know when you're going to need them <laughs> And um, well, luckily, everything worked out great because I think you know he just um, left Manson, uh, you know, right around the time. And I was like, hey, Ginger's out of Manson. Let's uh, utilize that, you know. Yeah. So um, he's doing a great job. He looks like a crazy person. Yeah. So he uh, he's playing amazing and. Uh, He's doing great. Cool. We love him. That's brilliant. Yeah. Well, John, thank you very much for joining us on the Crying Podcast. Uh, have a great time tonight. Uh, we, we know we can't wait to see the show. Thank you very much. Thanks.